Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name's Lydia Masaibi and I'm part of the team behind The Secret Story Draw, a unique initiative full of optimism and whose mission is to open up opportunities for black and Asian minority ethnic animators and illustrators in this industry we all love. Today we're presenting a discussion with some amazing people about the challenges and opportunities they have faced and why initiatives like this one are so important. Stick around to the end and you can find out more about how you can get involved and help be part of the change. Thanks for watching and enjoy the show. I think the diversity uh, and how how badly the kids industry uh, is at diversity uh, has been a surprise for me. The fact that, you know, we, we know that um, that diversity is good is a, is a net kind of positive for the for, for the industry the business that you're in um we know that there's a problem we know that the problem isn't just existing at an entry level it's also existing at the highest levels as well for a very long time i keep on saying well you know it's the way it is is you know it is the way it is but i'm trying to break myself out of that mindset of like wait, why is it the way it is you know how like why should it be that way you know but i didn't really feel like there's a much much effort to kind of seek out people from these places that you wouldn't really you wouldn't really normally search for things are changing you know and that 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 part is really 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 exciting to see i'm very, honestly very very impressed by all the different initiatives that i'm seeing starting to pop up the pandemic has helped us with our reflections on what's important we need to be looking at things from an anti-racist stance visualization about how we present people in a positive light, especially for children, and how can we make sure that um, marginalised people in the industry, their talents are finally recognised out from this. I think there is a lack of opportunity for, um, for minorities uh, in the industry. I think it has a lot to do with culture, with um, Black culture or Asian culture, minority uh, people don't tend to have parents that would encourage children to go into that area because it just doesn't seem as secure. I think if you get a di diversity of thought or of cultures, you, you get more uh, better stories. I've had to deal with some quite shocking stereotyping in some of the pitches um, because the producers haven't taken the time to, to learn about the cultures of the, 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 the people they're trying to represent in their ideas. It's not always done from a, a horrible place. They are trying, um, but it's just the lack of understanding. I, I hope what, what comes out of this is something incredibly positive and, and a huge change to the way we work. Um, I definitely think the campaign is needed. I think it's amazing that we have um, white people seeing the issue and helping minorities to get into jobs that aren't that are quite difficult for them to get into. I think it opens up the eyes for everyone to see. It is a really great initiative. I think it will spark a lot of interest from kids. It gives the opportunity for people's work to be seen when they see their work next to you know, a renowned author. It will be a really nice, rewarding thing. You can't say go and get experience to a young person who comes from a young, uh, you know, a low income family. We need to press the pause button and say, well, actually, how can we effectively help individuals who are marginalised in society, who, who are probably super talented, to give them that that leg up in terms of true equality of, of opportunity. Employ people who are very talented already at what they do. So there will be black animators out there who have worked on massive shows, give them jobs. <laughs> there will be black animators who have been making films on the internet that are amazing and in film festivals that don't know how to get to your company. but don't need to necessarily come in at an outreach level, at a grassroots level. It's uh, come in and get paid straight away. So I think it's, to make our industry diverse, it's important that these roles are from head all the way down to grassroots. It shouldn't just be grassroots up. I think the, cre I don't, I don't th I think the creative industry isn't really described at all. 
there's no there is no clear trajectory towards getting there you're left to figure that out on your own and we as a minority need to be told that from an earlier stage as opposed to you know finding these things out on your own uh, at a later stage i think it is up to the companies uh, at some point to uh, to start making themselves uh, known to minorities and saying that this is a viable option and this can be it's uh, uh, a successful um you know this can lead to a successful career to you being able to capture the innocence and being able to capture the the wonder that that, that kids have and just like help kids understand their emotions a lot better i think that like that's something that's that's incredible because like that that means that we're, we're kind of raising a generation of more emotionally intelligent uh, kids. I began saying it earlier, relatable characters. So having people that they can recognize and maybe say, oh, that's that person is like my best friend or that person is like my mom or my dad. Um, it's really about story. I think story is at the heart of animation. If you have a strong story, almost the look doesn't matter. It supports the story. You can kind of do as many things as you want. You can go for whatever type of look you want, as long as the story is strong. They like personality and difference and energy, I think. Um, and I think that, you know, the things that are successful kind of open up, you know, in great imaginary worlds for, uh, for kids. Firstly, fun. Fun comes first. I and mean, it's so important that fun comes first. Um, but to make really great content, I think, I think you just want to I do, the work I do anyway, I like to reflect the real world and make that fun. So, you know, fun in the everyday, that's kind of my sort of thing. And that's the sort of work that I try to make. Interesting characters, characters that the viewers can relate to. Um, I think characters that may have real world problems that children can relate to as well. I think character is key, um, and that, that's what can engage a lot of uh, children, a lot of viewers. I would say probably Lloyd, Lloyd of the Flies, um, at Ardman, um, is a really, really brilliant, really sweet project uh, that's coming together. I think it's an inspiring families, and especially children, especially with the work that you know with Jojo and Gran Gran um, and making sure that children can be seen and knowing that my professional and lived experience is of value. There was the short film that I worked on when I was at Pixar it was a short film called Loop and they the, the, the short film was about this 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 uh, this young girl who had um, uh, nonverbal autism the, th the most important part was that it just it just opened opened me up to this world that I was completely unaware of and it was something I never I never really had to had to experience. My thing that really gets me passionate and going is telling stories, telling diverse stories with you know black protagonists. That is the thing that keeps me going and working out. Animating on Dennis uh, Dennis and Nasha um, because you know growing up I used to read a lot of the Beano. A lot of you know, you know, every week I used to buy it every week, and if you had told me then that I would have worked on the TV show, you know, a few years later, that would have been crazy to me. So um, yeah, totally. Dennis and Nash would be, you know, the show that I'm most tired of working on. Be bold. Uh, don't be afraid uh, to represent the cultures uh, that you represent. Um, we want, you know, that representation on screen. Just be fearless and, and, and really just go for it and, and just have fun with it as well. To believe that I'm unique, to don't see my um, dyslexia or where I came from as a, as a barrier and to focus on my self-worth, my self-esteem. So it will really be about, you know, having the confidence to know that their opportunities will constantly emerge and those new things that come about, you know, throw yourself in them, you know, early, get to understand them and, um, and, and you, will, you will become, um, you know, a specialist and an expert in those spaces, which those spaces will become rewarding. 
Um, I think I think that would be the, the biggest bit of advice. But it's about also having that kind of patience and resilience within the industry as well, because um, you know it can be complex, it can be confusing. But um, the more time you stick with it, the more it all makes a little bit more sense. There's there's an old there's an old saying for for animators that animators are master observers, and you can't you can't create the illusion of life if you've never experienced life. So I think that's that's really important. Is that just kind of go outside, <laughs> essentially. Be really audacious with your hopes and dreams. Like, if you know, if you're watching, if you go to the cinema every week with your parent or guardian or whoever, and you're watching that movie and you're like, you know what, I could make that better. I, or, or do you know what, I've got this story that's going to be so sick and it's a two hundred million dollar movie. Don't let no damn person tell you you can't make that two hundred dollar movie, and just stay on that track to make it. Definitely follow the path of drawing. <laughs> make sure you do what makes you happy, basically, um, because art is very subjective. And if you keep going, if you keep practicing, you can do amazing things.